All right, hello, folks. Welcome to game two of the two-game series here. Mavericks getting ready, <coughs> getting ready to kick off here against Lake Travis Cavaliers. Second time facing them this season. Mavs kept it close when they faced uh, Lake Travis last week, but ended up losing after a eight-run rally in the one of the last innings there. Leading off for the Mavericks here, left fielder Ramsey Simpson. He steps in against the starting pitcher for Lake Travis, Cade McBell. And he looks at ball one that misses low. Another ball misses low outside this time, so it'll be two balls, no strikes to the leadoff hitter Simpson. He'll be followed by shortstop Ryan Vosick and the first baseman Jackson Collins here to start the top of the first. Next pitch swung on, a little chop ground ball, second base. Second baseman comes in on the run, makes the throw in time. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Next up to bat number nine, Ryan Vacek. Lake Travis, the home team here for this uh, Leander ISD tournament game being played out at Cedar Park High School. Wind has picked up a little bit. Beautiful day, lots of sunshine. As Vasek looks at a first pitch fastball that misses a little bit low for a ball. Next pitch, fastball misses high and outside, 2-0. Another fastball this time misses low and inside. Three balls and no strikes to count to Vasek. And Vasek's aboard with four straight balls. One out walk. And that'll bring up the first baseman, number three hitter, Jackson Collins. And first pitch to Collins, fastball catches the outside corner for called strike one. Next pitch swung on, a little lazy kind of pop fly. Drops in in front of the second baseman. And it flips it over to shortstop. Shortstop throws it to first in time for the double play. And that will end the inning. So no runs, no hits for the Mavs in the top of the first. We head to the bottom of the first inning. Lake Travis coming up for their first at-bats. So we'll be right back.
Cavaliers, number three, Austin Reed. All right, leading off for Lake Travis, center fielder Austin Reed. He'll be followed by the second baseman, Dylan Schlotterback, and then the right fielder, Ethan Calder. Starting pitcher for McNeil here in game two, Dominic Escamilla. And first pitch is grounded just to the right of the second baseman, Joseph Sandusky, into center field for a leadoff base hit. Next up to bat, number seven, playing second piece, Dylan Slaughterback. The so leadoff single for Reed brings up the number two hitter, Dylan Slaughterback. Third baseman, Caleb Crail, playing up on the grass, expecting bunt here. First pitch breaking ball misses a little bit low, ball one. Runner goes, pitches in the dirt, gets away from the catcher bank, so Reed will take second, uncontested. Comes a 2-0 pitch to the hitter Schlaughterback. Swung on, lined, you're going to get down in front of the right fielder out in right field, so be a base hit for Schlaughterback. Runner Reed advances the third on the hit. Next up to bat, number five, right fielder Ethan Calder. So Lake Travis with runners on first and third here, and nobody out. Brings up number three hitter Ethan Calder. Pitcher Escamilla checked over to first base, keep the runner close. First pitch to Calder, misses a little outside and low, ball one. And we have a balk called on the pitcher Escamilla. So that will allow a run to score. And Lake Travis is up on the board, 1 0. Schlaughterback advances to second on the balk. And the 1 0 pitch to Calder. Fastball misses inside. Two-zero pitch, swung on ground ball to first, knocked down by the first baseman Collins. Escamilla is over to cover at first and in time to grab the out. And on the ground out, uh, the runner on second, Schlotterback advances to third. So a runner on third now with uh, one out brings up the number four hitter, Caden Kent. And Kent looks at a first pitch breaking ball, misses a little inside and low for ball one. Next pitch misses a little outside low. 2-0 the count. <laughs> 
2 0 fastball misses high and outside, so it'll be three balls and no strikes to the hitter Kent. Mavericks uh, infield playing right on the edge of the grass here, trying to keep the run on third from scoring. And next 3 0 pitch, green light, swung on and fouled out of play to the left hand side. Three one pitch to Kent. Misses inside, ball four. Next up to bat, number fifteen playing first base, Cole Johnson. So a one out walk makes it uh, runners on first and third now. And that brings up number fifteen for Lake Travis, the first baseman, Cole Johnson. First pitch to Johnson's a fastball over the plate called strike one. Next pitch, breaking ball swung on, lined into left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Schlotterback's going to score easily from third, and Kent was running on the pitch, and he's going to get all the way from first to third. They try to throw. Hitter Johnson tries to extend into a, into a double there, and the Mavs are able to get him, trying to advance from first. So an RBI single for Johnson, but he is tagged out, trying to advance from Thanks first to second for the Number second out of the inning. Left field, Hank Benny. And that'll make the score 2-0 Lake Travis. Two outs now. Brings up left fielder Hank Benny. Looks at a ball that's going to get away from the catcher Banks. They... Kent is going to advance from third base on the pass ball there. And right, that'll make the score 3 0 Lake Travis. So base is clear now with two outs. 1 0 the count to the hitter, Benny. Pitch to Benny. It's a fastball catches the outside corner called strike one. Next pitch breaks, but breaking ball misses a little inside. Another fastball misses low and inside this time. So it'll be three balls and one strike to the hitter, Benny. Designated hitter Langdon stands on deck should uh, Benny reach safely here with two outs. Next pitch, breaking ball just misses a little bit high. So a two-out walk for Benny. Now up to bat number 17, Will Langdon. Brings up the designated hitter, number 17, Will Langdon, for Lake Travis. And first pitch to Lang Langdon. Misses outside low. Throw over to first base. Oh, everyone on the Mavericks defense thought they had him picked off, but umpire says safe. Good move by Escamilla. Next pitch is swung on and fouled out of play.
1 1 pitch to Langdon. The fastball misses outside. Runner goes. Throw down is. Oh, one hopper. Seemed like it was on time there. But field umpire calls the base runner Benny safe. Stolen base. 2 and 1 the count now to the hitter Langdon. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses high and out, ball three. Three one pitch, misses low, so it'll be another walk. Now hitting. Number 23, playing catcher, Gavin Schlotterback. So it'll be runners on first and second now. Still two outs. Brings up the catcher, number 23, Gavin Schlotterback. And Escamilla steps off. Runners go. Pitch is swung on, lofted into kind of shallow gap between right and center, and it's going to get down for a single. Both runs are going to score, and the hitter, Schlotterback, is going to advance to second as uh, no one was covering the bag. So it's a two run RBI kind of bloop single by Schlotterback. And he advances to second. And this brings up the number nine hitter for Lake Travis, third baseman David Ripple. And it makes the score now 5-0 Lake Travis. First pitch swung on line straight over the glove of the pitcher. Escamillan into center field for a base hit. Schlotterback's going to come all the way around from second and score. And so Lake Travis continuing to add on here with two outs here in the first bat. inning. Number three playing center field, Austin Reed. And we are back to the top of the order. Austin Reed started off this inning with a single. First run scored for Lake Travis. First pitch breaking ball misses a little high and outside ball one. Runner goes, pitch is swung on. Line drive in the gap in the left center field. That's going to get down and likely for extra bases. Runner is going to come all the way around from home and score. And Reed has his second hit this inning. RBI double with two outs. Up to bat, number seven, Dylan Slaughterback. Lake Travis up 7 0 now. Brings up the number two hitter, Dylan Slaughterback. Singled. Score to run. Looks at the first pitch in there. Called strike on the inside corner. A one pitch misses a little bit low there for ball one. One-one pitch swung on, narrowly hits the pitcher. 
Escamilla gets out of the way, and that's into center field for a base hit. Reed's going to come around and score again from second base. Up to bat, number five. Makes the score eight to nothing, like Travis. And Ethan Calder steps in for the second time this inning. Grounded out to first base, his first at bat. He swings at the first pitch and laces a line drive foul. Oh, one pitch catches the outside corner called strike two. Runner goes on 0-2. Pitch misses high. And Banks isn't going to be able to make a throw down. So stolen base for Schlatter back. One two pitch to Calder. Swung on, fouled on to play right side into the net. Another one two pitch. Breaking ball swung on. Lined in a shallow center field. Windersman comes in a couple of steps, makes the grab, and that will end the inning. So Lake Travers puts up eight runs in the first inning. Mavs coming up to bat in the bottom or in the uh, top of the second inning here. Chasing eight runs. We'll be right back. Our right, leading off for the Mavericks Chris here in the top of the second, Chris Windesman. He'll be followed by the third baseman, Caleb Crail, who had the walk-off game-winning double last game. And then the catcher, Garrett Banks. First pitch to Windesman, misses a little bit outside low. Next pitch swung on, hard ground ball, fielded by the second baseman, Schlatterback. Throws over to first in time, and Windesman is retired for the first out of the inning. Up to bat, number 29, Caleb Crail. First pitch to Caleb Crail, third baseman. 
Misses low in the dirt, ball one. Breaking ball swung on, ground ball fielded by the shortstop Kent, throws over to first base in time. So two way for the Mavs here in the top of the second inning. Now up to bat, number two, Garrett Banks. Brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. First pitch to Banks, breaking bulk, comes in late, catches the inside corner, called strike one. The breaking ball swung on, fouled out of play on the right side. Oh and two, the count now to Banks. O2 fastball high and outside of the zone. One two pitch, another fastball misses up, up high. So be two balls, two strikes now to count the banks. Bring the ball, misses high. So Banks all the way back to a full count from 0-2. Two outs, nobody on. Three-two pitch, fastball swung on a miss, strike three. So the Mavs go one-two-three here in the top of the second inning. And we head to the bottom of two. Lake Travis still ahead comfortably by a score of eight to zero. We'll be right back. All right, we've got a couple of uh, defensive adjustments here for the Mavericks as we head to the bottom of the second. Looks like uh, right fielder James Morio has shifted to left. So Morio, James Morio now in left. Windersman stays in center field. In right field now we have uh, Ryan Shook who will enter the game. And uh, the first pitch to the leadoff hitter Kent is a ball that misses low and outside. Kent swings and 
because a foul tip on that last pitch would be strike one. Kent walked back in the uh, first inning. Four, five, six hitters due up for Lake Travis. Next pitch misses inside and low. Count goes to two and one. Two one fastball misses outside and low. Be three one three and one the count now. And next pitch misses outside again, ball four. So Kent is aboard with a leadoff walk. Now to bat number 15, Cole Johnson. Brings up the first baseman, Cole Johnson. Singled in his first at bat. And was out trying to advance and extend that single to second. And first pitch to Johnson, fastball catches the outside corner, strike one. Next pitch swung on, loft in the air, foul territory. Looks like it's going to get out of play. So 0 2 the count to Johnson. Pitch is swung on, lofted into right field. It's going to get over the head of the right fielder, Shook, and down, bounces off the fence. Kent is going to come in all the way from first and score. And Johnson is in with a stand-up double. RBI double for Johnson makes the score 9-0 to zero now, Lake Travis. And now we'll bring Hank Benny up to the plate here. Benny with a walk and a run scored back in the first inning. Looks at a breaking ball that just misses a little bit up. Pitch swung on, lofted in the air, foul territory on the right field side, and that's going to get out of play. One one pitch coming up to Benny. Swung on, a little shallow fly ball just down into shallow center field, and that's going to be in for a single. Johnson is held up at third. So it'll be runners on first and third here for the Mavericks now defense. Nobody out. Will Brings up the designated hitter, Langdon walked and scored a run back in the first inning as well. First pitch misses outside. Runner goes before the ball is even pitched and He's going to be in safely as Escamilla stepped off but did not make the throw. So stolen base for Henny, or for Benny. And uh, that takes away the force. Now runners on second and third, nobody out. Pitch is swung on, lined into the center, left, center, or left field. is going to be down for a base hit. One run is going to score, and they're going to hold up Benny at third. So it'll be a RBI single for Langdon.
and that makes the score 10 0 Lake Travis. Now up to bat number 23, Gavin Schlauterbeck. Brings up the catcher, Gavin Schlauterback, singled back in the first inning. Also scored a run. And Escamilla throws over the runner at first, who's back safely. And next pitch to first pitch to Schlotterback bounces and gets away from the catcher Banks, and that will allow Benny to score easily from third, making the score 11 0. Uh, Langdon, the runner at first, also moves up one base to second. Next pitch swung on ground ball third base gets underneath the glove of uh, third baseman Crail and into left field. So it'll be another first and third situation here with nobody out. Now it's a bat number twelve, David Ripple. Now we're gonna have a courtesy runner for the catcher Slaughter back at first. Number ten, Liam Richards goes in and is the runner at first now. Brings up third baseman David Ripple, who singled and had a run scored in the first inning. As Escamilla throws over to first to check the new courtesy runner, Richards, who's back in time. Pitch is swung on. Ground ball in between short and third and gets into left field for a single. And Langdon will come in to score. Ripple two for two today now with two singles. Three, Austin Reed. Brings us back to the top of the Cavaliers order here. Leadoff hitter Austin Reed has a single and a double so far today. First pitch breaking ball in the dirt gets away from the catcher Banks, but not enough to advance. One oh pitch, fastball catches the outside part of the plate called strike one. Next pitch swung on. Another ground ball right between short and third. Gets into left field for another base hit. Runners advance one base. So that will load the bases. Still nobody out Dylan here in the bottom of the second inning. Brings up the number two hitter, Dylan Schlauterback. Two singles so far today. Scored a run back in the first. First pitch breaking ball is fouled out of play down the right field side. Oh, and pitch to Slaughterback. Swung on, pop, foul. Luckily going to get out of play over by the uh, Cavaliers dugout. So Escamilla working ahead with an 0-2 count here to number two hitter Slaughterback. O2 pitch. Fastball misses a little bit high and out. Ball one. Next 
next pitch. Misses low and outside in the dirt. So count will go to two and two. Pitch breaking ball misses just a little bit inside. So it'll be a full count now to slaughter back. Bases loaded, nobody out still. Three two pitch swung on. Deep fly ball out in the left field. Oriole, the left fielder's underneath it. He makes the grab for the first out. That's going to be deep enough and allow the runner to score from third. Other runners do not advance. But that sack fly by Schlatterback makes the score 13 to 0 in favor of Lake Travis. Now the bat, number five, Ethan Calder. So one away, runners on first and second now, brings up Ethan Calder. And Calder calls time. As uh, pitcher Escamilla was giving a long look out to the runner at second base there. First pitch to Calder, misses inside and low for a ball. Next pitch, fastball misses a little high and out. Be 2 0 count. This pitch comes a little inside and high, so it'll be three balls and no strikes to Calder. Calder 0 for 2 so far this game. Grounded out and then lined out to center field. And the 3 0 pitch. It's over the middle of the plate, called strike one. <laughs> 3 1 pitch swung on, lofted in the air, third base side. Third baseman crails underneath it, and he makes the grab. So the six. pop out to third base. Kaden Kent. Brad Calder makes it the second out of the inning. And we are back to where we started this inning. Leadoff hitter Kent comes up. Reached on two walks today so far. Swings at the first pitch. Hard ground ball. Gets into the right field for a base hit. And Ryan's going to come all the way around from second to score. So an RBI, two out single for Kent. Now it's bat number 15, Cole Johnson. And that'll bring up Cole Johnson. Has a single and a double today. Looks at a first pitch breaking ball, misses a little bit low, ball one. Another breaking ball, misses a little bit low. 2-0 the count to Johnson. Got two outs here. Runners on first and second. Next pitch fastball misses a little high. 3-0 the count. And 
and he looks at ball four. So two out walk for Johnson. That's going to load the bases. Now up to bat, number 19, Hank Benny. And that's going to bring up the left fielder, Hank Benny. Reached both times today, first on a walk, then a single. He swings at the first pitch and lines a sharp ground ball over the over at his own third base coach. Foul. Oh, one pitch to Benny misses a little high and outside, so it'll be one and one the count. Next pitch, fastball misses a little, little and outside. Be two and one. Mia comes in with a fastball, catches the inside part of the plate. So it'll be two balls, two strikes now. Breaking ball catches the inside corner for strike three. First strikeout for Escamilla. And that will end the inning. But Lake Travis tacks on. A considerable amount here in the bottom of the second inning. Up ahead comfortably by a score of 14 to 0 as we head to the top of the third. Maps coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, leading it off for the Mavericks here in the uh, top of the third inning. Be the right fielder. Actually, he's the left fielder now, James Morio. He'll be followed by the designated hitter, Brandon Morio, and then the second baseman, Joe Sandusky. First pitch, breaking ball to Morio. Misses a little high and out, ball now one. Swings the next pitch, hard ground ball, fielded by the shortstop Kent, throws over to first in time for the first out of the inning. Now up to bat number 14, Brandon Morio. So I went away, brings up D.H. Brandon Morio. So a first pitch breaking ball misses a little bit low ball one next pitch fastball bounces in front of the plate
2 0 pitch, breaking ball in there for called strike one. Another breaking ball swung on and missed. Count goes to 2 and 2. And Morio calls time before stepping back in the box for the 2 2 delivery. Resets. 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on, caught a piece of it, fouled it back to the screen. Another 2-2 delivery to Boreal. Fastball swung on and missed, strike three. Two away now here in the top of the third. Brings up the number nine hitter and second baseman, Joseph Sandusky. He looks at a first pitch fastball that misses a little inside. Ball one. Sandusky looks at a breaking ball that misses low. Be 2 0. Big swing and a miss. Another fastball there. Strike one. Fastball bounces in the dirt, gets away from the catcher. So it'll be three balls and one strike now to Sandusky. And Sandusky looks at ball four, misses outside. So the Mavericks get their first base runner here. With two outs in the top of the third, brings us back to the top of the lineup. And <clears throat> the right fielder, Ryan Shook, is going to, now to bat number 22, Ryan Shook. hit in place of the left fielder, Ramsey Simpson. And so Shook swings and misses that first pitch there for strike one. The fastball swung on and missed strike two. O2 pitch misses a little bit low. Ball one. Next pitch swung on and missed. Strike three. So Mavs lead a base runner stranded. No runs, no hits. Head to the bottom of the third inning. Lake Travis still out in front by a score of 14 to 0. We'll be right back.
Right, we have a pitching change and uh, a few more defensive changes for the Mavericks here as we head to the bottom of the third. New pitcher, number 25, Ryan Schneider comes in in relief for uh, Dom Escamilla. And it looks like number seven, Joe Sandusky, who started the game at second, is moving to short. Number 23, Alex Brasenio comes in to play second. And that will be all of the defensive changes for the Mavs here. Leading off the bottom of the third inning, number 17, Will Langdon. So Schneider will face the 7, 8, 9 hitters for Lake Travis. Leading off, designated hitter Will Langdon. Has a single and a walk today. He looks at a breaking ball and misses a little bit high, ball one. Next pitch swung on, hard ground ball. Kind of gets off the glove of the shortstop Sandusky. Oh, but he stuck with it. Bounces the throw over to first base, but is picked cleanly by the first baseman Collins for the out. Good job by Sandusky to not give up on that play. And a good job on the part of the first baseman Collins there to pick that ball out of the dirt. So ground ball out to lead the inning, start the inning except the catcher Gavin Schlaughter back. And he looks at a breaking ball that's in there called strike one. Actually, looks like we have a pinch hitter in. Number 21, O.J. Gonzalez, comes in to hit in the place of the catcher Schlaughter back. Second pitch to the pinch hitter Gonzalez misses a little bit inside. So one on one count to the pinch hitter OJ Gonzalez. Hitting in the eighth spot. Next pitch fastball misses in the dirt. Oh, looks like we also had a change defensively at catcher. Number 16, Wyatt Newman comes in and started this inning at the catcher position and uh, replaced Garrett Banks as Gonzalez swings to the next pitch and fouls it off the screen and back into play. This will be two balls, two strikes to count to Gonzalez. comes a 2-2 pitch. Swung on, lofted in the air, foul territory, and it's going to get out of play. Another 2-2 delivery from Schneider. Breaking ball swung on, foul tip into the glove of the catcher for a strikeout. So two up, two down for Lake Travis here in the bottom of the third inning. Now up to bat, number 10, Richards Liam. So we're going to have another pinch hitter here. Liam Richards comes in to hit in place of the number nine hitter and third baseman Ripple. And he swings at the first pitch, lost it in the air, foul out of play.
0-1 pitch to the pinch hitter Richards misses a little bit low for a ball. It'll be one and one now. Next pitch swung on, lined foul, left field side. It'll be one ball and two strikes. Comes one-two pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Strike three. So Strader comes in and strikes out two. Here in the bottom of the third. No runs, no hits for Lake Travis. Mavs coming up to bat here in the top of the fourth inning. Lake Travis still ahead 14-0. We'll be right back. All right, leading off this inning will be uh, Alex Brasenio, who entered the game last inning at second base. He will be hitting in the number two slot in place of the shortstop Ryan Vosick as he looks at ball one. Next pitch is swung on and fouled out of play, right field side. Next pitch, swung on a miss, strike two. One and two to count to Brasenio as he swings and it's a little squib ground ball fielded by the pitcher but missed thrown and throw gets all the way out into the right field fence and allows Brasenio to reach not just first base but actually make his way all the way to second. So Brasenio is on with a leadoff error by the pitcher. Finds his way to second base on the overthrow. And that will bring up the number three hitter, Jackson Collins. Grounded into a 4-6-3 double play back in the first inning. As he looks at a first pitch breaking ball that just misses a little bit inside, ball one. The breaking ball, this one misses low and inside this time, so 2-0 the count to Collins. Two-0 fastball catches the outside corner, called strike one. Next pitch swung on and fouled back off the mask of the uh, Lake Travis catcher. So it'll be two balls, two strikes to Collins.
Next pitch swung on and missed, but gets away from the catcher. And they're going to throw down to first base, but not in time to catch Collins as the uh, catcher Slaughterback also had his eye on Brasenio, who was advancing to third on the dropped third strike. Now it's a bat. Number 18, Chris Windesman. So a leadoff error and a unsuccessful conversion to drop third strike, and the Mavs now have runners on first and third with nobody out. And uh, Chris Windesman, center fielder, steps in. Looks at a breaking ball that broke late, caught the outside corner, called strike one. Next pitch, breaking ball, swung on and missed, strike two. Breaking ball bounces in the dirt, kept in front by the catch, Elite Travis catcher. Does not allow any runners to advance. It'll be a 1-2 count to Windsman. This pitch swung on. A little shallow fly ball in the center field. Looks like that's going to get down for a base hit. As Collins kind of stopped halfway to make sure it was going to be caught and then hustles away in safely to second. That allows for senior to score from third base. And Windsman has the first McNeil hit. And it's an RBI. And the Mavs are on the board. And now with runners on first and second, that brings up third baseman Crail. He looks at a first pitch fastball that misses high. Pitch breaking ball catches the outside corner called strike one. Next pitch breaking ball swung on line into the gap and it is going to get down. Left fielder made a great play but it kind of popped out of his glove as he dove. And so it's going to be safe all around. Everybody moves up one. And I'm suspecting they'll rule that a single there by for Crail. And that makes it bases loaded, nobody out. Now to bat number 16, Wyatt Newman. And we're going to have the Wyatt Newman, who came in as the catcher last inning, is going to hit now in the, in the number six hole in place of the previous catcher, Garrett Banks. And Newman looks at a first pitch fastball on the outside part of the plate, strike one. So Jackson Collins, the runner at third, Windesman at second, and Crail at first. As Newman looks at another called strike on the outside corner. O2 breaking ball swung on a miss, strike three. So the strikeout is now the first Mavs out of the inning. That brings up the right fielder, James Morio. Rounding out to short in his first at bat. Morio swings and misses. Ground ball hits the second base. Flips over to short for the out, but not in time to get Morio at first. And it will be an RBI as Collins scores from third. So fielder's choice for Morio. Brings in an RBI. Crail is forced out at second for the second out of the inning. Scores now 14 to 2, and that brings up Brandon Morio with runners on first and third. As he looks at a first pitch that misses low and in the dirt outside. Next pitch, breaking ball misses inside, gets away from the catcher, and that's going to allow Chris Windesman to score easily from third, and James Morio advances from first to second base on the pass ball. Yeah. 
And Morgan looks at a 2-0 fastball that misses high. So it's three balls and no strikes to the hitter, Morio. And 3-0 pitch, fastball catches the outside corner. Strike one. Next pitch, fastball. Catches the outside corner as well. So working back from 3-0 to 3-2 now. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play, back behind the screen. Next pitch swung on, lofted in a shallow right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And James Morio, the runner on second, is going to hold up at third as his Twin brother Brandon has a two out single. Now to bat number seven, Joseph Sandusky. Brings up Joseph Sandusky here with two outs and runners on first and third. And first pitch to Sandusky misses outside low for a ball. Next pitch, breaking ball. Came in pretty tight. Sandusky dodges out of the way. It'll be a 2 0 count now. Two o pitch swung on, fouled out of play, right side. Comes a 2 1 pitch to Sandusky. Checks his swing, but umpire says it was strike on the outside corner anyway. So it'll be two balls, two strikes now. Two-two pitch swung on, fouled out of play again, right side. Two two breaking ball launched in the air right field. Right fielder is, makes a couple of steps over and makes the catch on the run to his left side towards the right field line. So the fly out win the inning. Mavs put their first couple of hits up against Lee Travis here, tacked on three runs. And we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Score Lake Travis 14. McNeil three. We'll be right back. Off the top of the fourth, bottom of the fourth inning, number one, Preston Marshall. All right, we're back to the top of the order for Lake Travis here in the bottom of the fourth. We're going to have another pinch hitter. Uh, number one, Preston Marshall comes in in the leadoff spot in place of the center fielder, Reed. 
And he swings and misses the first pitch breaking ball for strike one. Marshall looks at the next pitch. Fastball catches the outside part of the plate. Strike two. So Schneider, the relief pitcher, working ahead here. 0-2, the leadoff hitter. And uh, Schneider started his delivery but then stopped. So it will be a balk, but a balk with no runners on results in a ball. So it will be a 1-2 count. Two pitch swung on left in the air foul out of play right field side. One two pitch. Fastball misses inside and low. Two two pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Third strikeout for Schneider in his relief. And we're gonna have another pinch hitter here. Number eighteen, Reed Morales, is gonna come in into the number two spot and hit for the second baseman Dylan Schlauterback. As he looks at a fastball in the inside corner called strike. Oh, one fastball in the dirt outside, so it'll be one and one. That was 1-1 pitch. Swung on, ground ball, shortstop. Fielded by the shortstop Sandusky. Throw is in the dirt and is going to get away from the first baseman, Collins. That will allow Morales to get the second. And that will bring up Another pinch hitter here, number 28, Daniel Ripple, is going to come in in the number three spot in place of uh, Calder, the right fielder. So one out, got a runner on second now on the throwing error. And here comes the first pitch to Ripple. Breaking ball misses a little bit outside and low, ball one. Next pitch gets away from the catcher, Newman, and is going to allow Morales to advance easily, easily from third. Or from second to third, sorry. Pitch is swung on. Fly ball into the gap in left center field. Left fielder Mori was over, and he makes the grab. Diving grab to his left side. Deep enough and with Morio kind of on his belly there was allows Morales to tag up and score easily from third. But a nice diving play in left field by Morio there to get the out. So it'll be two away now. Let's go, 
And we have another pinch hitter here, number 20, hitting in place of the uh, shortstop, Caden Kent. As he swings and misses the first pitch, strike one. Next pitch, fastball misses outside in the dirt. This will be a 1 1 count. Next pitch from Schneider misses low. This will be 2 and 1. It's like the uh, pinch hitter here is Leon Caden. As he looks at it, another pitch misses outside and low. It'll be three balls and one strike. And next pitch, ball four. Bounces out the dirt and uh, back to the screen. So two out walk for the pinch hitter, Caden. Now to bat number eight, Dax Debner. And we're going to have another pinch hitter here. Dax Debner, number eight, comes in to the number five spot, hitting in place of the first baseman, Johnson. Schneider throws over to first to check the runner Caden there. He's back time back in time. Next pitch, ball gets away from the gets it's in the dirt, gets away from the catcher Newman, all the way back to the screen. That will allow Caden to advance easily to second. So 1 0 the count to Debner. Next pitch misses inside and low. It'll be 2 0 now. Two outs, runner on second here. Next pitch, high fastball swung on and missed. Strike one. Pitch swung on, line sharply foul, first base side. Two and two, the count now to Debner. Next pitch swung on, line drive is going to get down the line in right field. Right fielder Shook picks it up in deep right field, and Debner's going to be in with a stand-up double and an RBI. Now it's about number 27, Cooper Scott. And another pinch hitter comes up. Number 27, Cooper Scott, hitting in place of the left fielder Hank Benny. And Scott looks at a breaking ball, misses high and inside, ball one. Next pitch fastball, misses a little bit inside. This will be 2 0 the count. Scott. Go. 
2-0 pitch misses low. We'll go to 3-0. Scott, Scott thought that was ball four. Umpire called it strike one. This will be a 3 1 count. And next pitch misses inside. <coughs> so it'll be ball four. Two out walk for Scott. That'll be runners on first and second now. And. Another pinch hitter, number two, Caden Barkley, comes in to the seventh spot in the place of the designated hitter, Langdon. And he swings at the first pitch and fouls it back. Pitch is swung on, ground ball to shortstop. Knocked down by the shortstop Sandusky, but couldn't find it in his glove, and it was right below him, so it'll be safe all around. Now up to bat, number 23, Gavin Schlotterbeck. So that'll be bases loaded with two outs now. And uh, number 23, Schlotterbeck's going to come back in to hit in his own spot. Previously... Subbed out for by uh, number 21, O.J. Gonzalez, last inning. As he looks at the first pitch, breaking ball gets away from the catcher, Newman, but all the runners hold. Next pitch, fastball catches the inside corner, called strike one. Next pitch, fastball swung on a miss, strike two. One and two, the count to Schlotterback. Next pitch swung on. Fly ball, second base side. Brasenio is over and bobbles the ball, but manages to make the grab the second time before it uh, reaches the ground there. So pop out to second base, ends the inning. Cavaliers tack on two more runs on a couple of hits. Next to score 16 to 3, Lake Travis, we head to the top of the fifth inning. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back.
All right, pitching change for Lake Travis, number 23, Gavin Schlatterback goes in in relief for the starting pitcher, McKay Bell. And he will face the top of the Mavericks order, leading off number 22, Ryan Shook. Swings and misses the first pitch, called strike, or strike one. Pitch catches the outside corner for called strike two. Owen two, the count to Shook to start off the inning. Looks at a breaking ball. Late break catches the inside corner for called strike three. So one away for the Mavs here in the top Alex of the fifth. Five, number 23, Alex Brasino. Brings up Alex Brasino. Safe on an error last inning and uh, was the first run score for the Mavericks this game. First pitch fastball misses outside for a ball. Looks like a called strike. Second pitch they have bat, one and one the count. Another breaking ball catches the outside corner called strike two. One two pitch. Breaking ball fouled off. One two fastball, swung on a miss, strike three. Back to back strikeouts, top of the fifth, and Mavs down to the last out. Now up to bat number 24, Jackson Collins. I'll bring up uh, Jackson Collins, who was uh, safe on a drop third strike last inning. He looks at a first pitch fastball in the outside corner from called strike one. Fouls the next, pit, next pitch off back in the screen, strike two. Pitch fouled off again, back to the screen. Count remains at 0-2. Jackson Collins sticks his bat out, just kind of spoils that last pitch. There's a little low and outside. Fouls it off. Another row two pitch to Collins, swung on a miss, strike three. So Schlotterbach comes in and strikes out the side. And that's the ball game. The final score is 16-3. And that will end the game. Leander ISD Tournament has an eight-run deficit after five innings is a run rule here. So Mavs lose the second game. Split the games. They won the first game today against Elgin. Dropped the second one against Lake Travis by a score of 16 to three. Thanks for joining us, folks. Weather permitting, we are back on tomorrow. Maz will play at 5:30 against Cedar Park. Game one, game two at eight o'clock. Right afterwards against McCallum. Thanks again for joining us, folks. We'll see y'all tomorrow.